Howdy everybody, thank you for tuning in and today we're going to have a look at the Hawk Endurance ED 13-39x50 angled spotting scope and this is available to purchase in the link in the description below. This is the latest version which replaces the older one which came with a 12-36x eyepiece and rather than talk about in detail the optical performance of this spotting scope rather than repeat myself simply watch till the end of this video and then click on the link where you can see my short review review of the older model and um, where I'll explain in more detail about the chromatic aberration etc. So basically with this video it's how is this one spotting scope different to the older one. It comes at first glance with the same body, the same dual use focuser there, same lens shade, it looks pretty much identical but you see the eyepiece there just left of center, unlike the older model which I believe was central. So coming on to the eyepiece, and it is a completely new eyepiece, they haven't simply changed the lens elements, the focal length, to increase it from 12 to 36 to 13 to 39 times. It looks a completely different eyepiece. The minor gripe I had with the first model, which you, you will see in the video at the end of this video, was it had two rings here on the zoom eyepiece, the, the main thick one similar to this one was for simply unscrewing the eyepiece and it had a separate ring here at the top that you could turn which I found a little bit more tricky to use if you had gloves on but no such problem at all with the updated version all this here, that's, that's your focus, moves nice and easy so if you've got gloves on it's very very easy to just grab hold of there so that, that is a massive improvement on the the older eyepieces so it's simply not the fact that you can go in from 36 to 39 times it is a much more um, better build eyepiece with the much better grip there if you, if you need to wear gloves so coming on to the twist eye cup I found with it twisted down like so wearing spectacles I could quite easily get the full field of view with my glasses on but would twist it up I could just about get full field of view so if you wear spectacles you might want to just try one before you purchase just to make sure there's enough eye relief there for spectacle wearers and coming on to the twist eye cup just again uh, uh, this is a minor gripe and you, you'll probably not even notice it yourself with it fully out you cannot push the eye cup back in again and I, I am having to push quite hard there but twist it halfway, push, and it slides back in again. So be aware of that. Yeah, if you like to have your your eye cup in the, in the centre rather than fully in or fully out, it does tend to move if you do push on it. So that, that's pretty much it. That's the that's the Hawk Endurance ED 13 to 39 times. Just a a quick look at it and how the eyepiece differs to the first model. And as always, thank you very much for watching. I hope that helps. And please check out the links in the description below.